Tired of being a petty little consumer? Go to thedman.tv now to get your free copy of Simple Clean Living, a guide to living minimally, healthy, and stress-free. How's it going, guys? This is a topic for today's video. We're here in Sedona, Arizona. Check out the backdrop for this video. Check out the backdrop, man. It is good, good shit. So I wanna talk about visualization. So I'm in one of the absolutely most beautiful spots, actually the most beautiful spot that I've ever been in, uh, in, in my life and my travels over the past uh, couple of years. And I just wanted to quickly talk about visualization. So why should you be visual, visualizing? Like, like what, what, what is this visualization thing all about? Because you hear a lot of it in uh, kind of like personal development. You wanna you know, replay in your mind exactly what you wanna see in your life. So it's really important in terms of creating the life that you really want for yourself is, is that you really have to start to see it in your mind before it can actually ever happen. In your in your life, and and why why is it like that? That you have to be able to see it in your mind. The funny thing with with our mind and our subconscious mind is that you can start to really program your subconscious mind by replaying events in your mind. So just kind of visualizing them in your head. Now, why this is really important is because if your life is a certain way right now and you're observing it, you're vi you're seeing it with your eyes. You're basically going to keep attracting that into your life because you're constantly observing it and you're constantly noticing it. So basically, that the momentum of your life is gonna keep going how it's going because you're constantly seeing how things are and if you keep seeing how things are, that momentum, it just keeps going and going and going. So it's just, it's, that's just how it is. So that's why so many lives, so many people's lives are just very stagnant. They don't really do too much. They don't really go anywhere because they're not really utilizing the power of visualizing in your mind. So why does it help? Why does it happen? Why do things change when you start to visualize in your life? Once you start to visualize things in your mind, you're basically starting to replay the events that you want to see in your life in your mind already. So if you spend 20 or 30 minutes per day conditioning basically your subconscious mind by visualizing the life that you want to see, then you're basically starting to put yourself in basically the circumstances that you want to see. Once you start to do that, your mind, your subconscious mind specifically, is kind of like a goal-seeking mechanism. Think of like a like a like a rocket, right? And it's got like the uh, like the auto target, like it targets it, and it's always you know making corrections, and it's gonna like hit its target, right? So basically, what's happening now is like you're just kind of like all over the place, right? Your your uh, your subconscious mind, you're just constantly, you're just not really sure what's going on, blah 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 blah. But once you start to visualize, you start to hone in with your mind on basically what you want in your life. And so this is where visualization is really important because you're starting to basically experience what you want to experience before you experience it. But you're experiencing it in your mind. And you might be like, well, that's not really gonna help me get there because I'm just thinking about it in your mind. But the way that your subconscious mind works is that what you visualize and what you observe, just just like if I'm observing something, I'm, I'm seeing all these, all these amazing rocks. If I started to visualize it in my mind, months and months before, a lot of things might change in my life in order to get me to seeing these types of things. Does that, does that kind of make sense? As in, you're starting to replay those events in your mind before you're there. So basically things are going to start to align. Now whether you want to think of it in terms of like a, a greater source, like, a, like from, from the infinite source that's helping, or just say from your subconscious mind and just it's more of a goal-driven kind of mechanism in your head, your subconscious. Either way that you want to look at it from more of like just more of a, of a uh, kind of a, I'm not going to say realistic standpoint, that doesn't really make sense to me, but just more of like a concrete, not too ethereal way of thinking it as opposed to more of a spiritual way of thinking about it in terms of visualization. So you start to replay these, uh, these ideas and, your goal, and basically your goals in your mind before you actually can be able to achieve them. And so that basically, when you start to visualize it, and you do it maybe 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, an hour, you know, however long that you want to every single day, it just does start to condition your mind to those things. So if you want to think about abundance, start to visualize in your life what abundance looks like, looks like to you. So if you're riding a certain bicycle, or you're living in a certain place, or you're um, able to afford certain things in your life, or you're getting a certain reaction in terms of people really loving and appreciating your work. Visualize that in your mind and however it kind of looks for you. But there's some really good tips in terms of how you should visualize. 
So you want to really focus on the details. The details are really, really important because when you're observing something like this, I see here that there's a water bottle, like small detail. I can feel the rocks underneath, uh, underneath my legs and my bum here. I can feel that detail. Um, say you're walking on the beach, you'd be able to feel the sand between your toes. You, you want to be, when you're visualizing, you want to visualize all those little, little details. Because those little details make it much more real in your mind. On top of that, what you want to do is you want to focus on the emotions of it as well. Do you feel exhilarated? Do you feel excited? Like, what are the feelings that you're going to be feeling when you're going to be doing those things in your life? It's really, really kind of funny because I've been visualizing having a girl in my life. Like, I've wanted to have a partner, a life a life partner, right, or a girlfriend, whatever whatever you want to call it, whatever term you want to use. Not a wife, I'm not getting married, but I want to have a long-term partner, right? So I've had this idea, this vision in my head of waking up next to this beautiful girl, right, this beautiful, gorgeous girl. Um, you know, I have my list in terms of like what I want in that person, and on top of that, so this vision in my head, I had it, It's it's been something that's kind of burned into my, just burned into my mind for so long now, that I'm in this room, like I'm in this room, that, and on on a big on a big wet on a big bed, not a big wet, big bed, and the uh, the sunlight, the sunrise is just kind of beaming in through the window, and that's what kind of wakes us up in the morning. And I'm you know spooning this girl like in bed in the morning, and then there's also this desk as well because it has my laptop on it, so I can do work on it. And what's just really funny is I've been thinking about that probably for at least at least three and a half months. But three and a half months, I've just kind of had that vision in my head. I'm like, that's how I kind of want it to be. I just want it to be just that, just that vision in the morning is just totally, totally cool to me. And what's kind of been funny is like two months ago, I started talking to this girl. And after I'd started, started like nofap and you know, started so many different new things in my life, I started talking to this girl. And, and I instantly just kind of felt, I'm like, like there's something different about this girl rather than, than other girls that I've talked to in the past, right? Like there's just something, there's a bigger connection here, right? And it, and it was just kind of funny because probably about a month ago we were like, I was like, you know what, I really, really want to meet you. She lives in Chicago. She lives in Chicago. And I was just like, you know what, like I'll fly out there. I want to, I want to come meet you, right? Like that's how much I actually, I actually like this girl. And it was just kind of, it was just kind of funny because after time, you know, like going to Chicago, yeah, it would have been fun and, and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know, something about it just didn't necessarily feel, feel right. And what was kind of cool is probably about, uh, I think about four weeks ago, she was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a show in Phoenix. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool, right? So she's going to do a gig, she's an actress, right? So she's going to do a, a gig in Phoenix. And she's just like, you know what, you should come down to Phoenix. And I was like, yeah, you know, that sounds like a pretty good idea. You know, she, she would have a lot of free time to do it. And it just kind of it just kind of worked out in, in a way that I was like, yeah, you know what, that that does kind of make sense. And what was really uh, what was really funny is so I was going to go meet her in Phoenix. And she was like, you know what, I, I want to take you up to Sedona, where we're at right now. And I was like, I was like, all right, cool. And what was really funny is when we got um, when we got our hotel room here, we walked into the room and I was just like, I'm like, holy fuck! I was like, this is exactly what I was envisioning. It was so crazy, like in terms of how the room was laid out and t like where the desk was and everything. And it was like everything was just kind of like going perfectly in terms of like in terms of this vision that I had started about three and a half months earlier. It was just really kind of crazy. Like in my mind, I'm just like, this is actually like happening. I've been envisioning this for so long now. And it didn't really get me super excited or anything. I wasn't like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was more like, it's like I've experienced this so many times already that it seemed totally normal. It seemed totally normal to me, even though it was just such a crazy little experience. Some other kind of interesting things about it was originally we were just gonna, we were just gonna meet in Phoenix and say she's living at a, uh, um, She's living with some roommates in Phoenix for the three weeks that she's there. And we're just gonna stay at, um, at where she was staying. And what was funny about it is that she actually showed me what the room looked like uh, where she was sleeping, right? 
And when I looked at it, even though she, she was just showing it to me on her on her on her uh, on her smartphone, right? I was like, that's kind of weird, right? Because that that room just does it didn't like click in with my vision, right? And so I actually almost kind of questioned it for a second, right? I was just like, you know what? Maybe this isn't the right time for it to happen, right? Because I was like, the room that she was in wasn't how my vision was, which was really funny. But just before, probably about four or five days um, before I was. I think, yeah, it's probably, a, or maybe five or six days before I was to fly out to meet her. She was like, uh, she's like, oh, I booked a room in Sedona for us for three nights. And I was like, oh, wow, really? So it's just all these little things, all these little things have just kind of happened. And it's just because I've been visualizing it for so long. And I, where I am right now is complete proof. So, so many things on my end as well. So, it was easy to get off work. Like, so to take a week off work was super easy. And some timing for, and some timing for other things that I needed um, taken care of worked perfectly. Um, you know, I was really worried about getting shut down at the border because I'd been shut down, I'd been turned away from the American border last time I tried to cross over. So, there's like a few little things and everything just fucking worked out. Like, perfectly, like effortlessly. It just worked out as it should. And I wholeheartedly believe that it's because I've been visualizing it in my mind for so long. Visualizing it. So you can visualize it with so many different things in your life as well. Whether you want to work a certain type of job and live a certain type of life and have a certain type of person in your life, it can, it can all be done just by starting to rehearse it in your mind. Um, a great book on it is um, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. He really talks about changing the self-image and doing so through uh, doing, uh, doing, doing so through visualization. Another thing that I've even noticed through visualization is that I've always wanted to be much more confident when I'm talking to people in person. It's something that I haven't really been in. This is actually kind of reflected in my videos. I feel like I'm so much more confident talking in front of a camera and as well as just like having like a social, like just a normal social conversation with people. Because I started visualizing myself being much more confident and just being like really present with people and just being able to have that unwavering confidence, right? And just front of them, just talking to them and, and just experiencing them. So visualization does work if you want it to, right? Something that you want to do, I do it as much as I can, really. Um, if I'm just kind of bored or I'm just laying in bed when I wake up in the morning, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, like whatever, whatever kind of feels good for you. If you start getting really distracted, I'd say, you know what, maybe, maybe finish it, but write it out. What I like to do is I almost like to write out a script as if it was a movie, right? So you start to notice all the little details, all the little details about this, a little bit that. Write it down and keep noticing them. Keep visualizing the details. Keep feeling the emotions because that's what's really gonna supercharge it in terms of actually creating it in your life. And then when it does happen, it feels totally normal. It feels totally normal. And you're just like, I just created this in my life. And then you can kind of feel cool. You can be like, yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it. So look at where I am. Beautiful, beautiful spot here. Awesome, thanks so much for watching guys. Meditation and visualization and no fap are probably three of the most powerful habits in terms of uh, just changing who you are as a person, for sure. Awesome, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day, talk to you soon. Peace out.